Look what just arrived. Chiro's last hurrah. Chiro Marchetti, the uh, creator of quite a many, quite a very many tarot cards, uh, is retiring. And this appears to be, if he's correct on reading the information, his last deck. So tarot decorative, if he's retiring, I'm assuming he's not making any more decks. And uh, this just came out literally to my door uh, five minutes ago. So tarot decorative, let's check it out. Apparently this is a test, a, a, ugh, Jesus, that's stuck. Apparently... This is a combo of TDM and Rider Smith, so we'll see. As always, everything Chiro is uh, extremely well done and very beautiful. So yeah, here is the book. We'll take a look at the book later. It is black and white, and it looks like it has about 170-ish pages. So there's a companion book to it. And here are the cards. All right, let's open these without damaging them would be great. That would be just magical. So let's see how we're going to do. Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it indeed. All right, uh, very slick cards, very slick cards. So they do slide, they have a nice slide to them. There's the back. Obviously, there is the back. And here are the fronts. Um, let's take a look. La Mat. there we go. So I'm interested to mainly see just sort of like where we're going to be at this point, right? So we're going from um, the, the first deck that he made to this, well, I guess, the last one. So very interested to see how this is going to turn out. Uh, La Betia, the Magician. We got the Pope S, La Pope S. So um, pretty good style. Is this as good, in my opinion, as the... Um, the uh, Gilded Terror Royale, uh, maybe, maybe. I mean, that is a uh, that, that's a good looking set of graphics that he's using there. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying. I think he's at his prime. And I think this is some of the best things that he's come out with yet. And uh, I really wish he wouldn't retire, but the way it goes, I guess. Emperor, ooh, very very nice. A little bit of the four action. We have the Pope and the Hierophant action there. Oh, uh, very cool. Um, uh, okay, the lovers, traditional. Yeah, very traditional. Is one the mother? Is one not the mother? Always the question on that particular card. And then we have the chariot. Nice movement, nicely detailed, very detailed. It's got big borders, sort of. I mean, it does have big borders, but sort of, uh, they just work. They just work, though. I mean, it just appears that, like, the borders are just fine. The borders are just fine. It's not something where I'm just like, oh, my God, I need to trim it. In fact, quite the reverse. I feel like I do not need to trim these at all. Hermit, very cool. And the wheel, a, a geared wheel. I love it, and I love it again. Okay, string, very, very cool. So I'm kind of interested in the majors at this, or the minors at this point to see if they're unillustrated. I think they're going to be illustrated, but in a Chiro style, I assume, um, based upon what I see in the box. So the box has kind of a little preview of what they look like. All right, Hanged Man. I love the circus aspect of all of his Hanged Men. And um, yeah, Death. And a little bit of a, a temperance action here. <clears throat> the devil wow very golden very very golden and pretty and very cool um the tower crumbles down and yeah star very pretty and then the moon okay and the sun i love the moon has like a uh, almost a not a nativity but as a mother and child in there let's zoom in if we can here Let's basically get as close as we possibly can to the cards and then realign the focus and make it focused. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, that is very pretty indeed. So get as close as we can to the cards, as much detail in the video as possible. Judgment. And now we're finally on to the world. You know, as always, Chiro hits it out of the park. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying, as always. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords. I love it. And the Two of Swords. I mean, you know, 
non-illustrated, but illustrated in a Chiro style. So, I mean, you know, not the traditional Rider Waite smell, but still, but still it's very expressive. You can see the Three of Swords, for example, very expressive. It gives an idea of sort of what's going on. <clears throat> the Four with the resting, again, very expressive. So it is illustrated, but illustrated in their own style. Five of Swords, you know, not as illustrated as a Rider Waite Smith, but, but that is very pretty. And the six with a little boat with the wings, pretty traditional, sort of a swan type feel there. And then you have the uh, seven. So I'm not really sure what's up with the bird. Uh, the bird with the, yeah, okay, sure. And then the eight with the restrictions. And a nine with the nightmares. And then a 10 with the, the, with the termination with the everybody is in there and stabbing them. All right, we have the valet. Uh, okay, the knight, very cool looking. I love the sort of the frosted, misty, hazy bottom to that. <clears throat> then we have the queen. And the king. And the king is from the cover. So you recognize that king from the cover. So King of the Swords. As always, the lighting effects, just the, the overall feel of the cards, everything is fantastic. Uh, Ace, the two, the domain, very cool. And the three, looking out amongst the ships, again, cool. And then we have the, uh, the th four of wands with the home and the family and the five of wands with the conflict. So, you know, the scenes are super small, but I still think they're very relevant. We have the six, the Lord of Victory, rioting in, people cheering, and the seven being defensive. And then an eight with the motion and the wings to indicate the motion lines and whatnot. So cool. And we have the nine, uh, the wounded warrior, as they say. And then the 10, overloaded and encumbered. So there you go, the 10 of batons. They have the page or the valet, the knight, the queen, and the king. Very cool, very cool. I love this, I love it. All right, let's go to the pentacles, and then finally to the cups. Two of Pentacles, there we go, a little TDM action there with your logo slash company name, whatever it is, on the two, very traditional for TDM. We have the three, I believe that is Chiro and some of the other decks working away. So I love the faces, the different faces in here and uh, different sort of scenes in there with a the knight. There you go. So the four sort of holding on to being greedy with their money. The five, being poor, needing some help, and the six, providing said help. And again, I love how different every one of them are. Very cool. So we have the seven, planting our seeds for success. The eight, doing the diligent work that needs to be done. And finally, the nine, the reward and the parrot for effort that you started in the seven. All right, the 10... The abundance, the very good home and whatnot. And finally, the cups, right? Oh, sorry. The page. We have the knight. And the queen. And finally, the king. So now we're back to the very end now. Very end. All right, we get the ace of cups. We got the two of cups, very cool. Got the meeting of minds, the meeting of forces. The three of cups with the friendship, the celebration as well. Again, very cool. I love the different colors and whatnot that we have across through here, sort of indicating the different colors of the dresses that we have in a normal deck. We have the four being offered something you just don't want. And then we have the uh, five. So, Lord of, uh, I don't know, is it disappointment, sorrow? Okay, the six, we have the family unit sort of coming together in the six action. Is that focused a little bit better? There we go. 
And then we have the seven, Lord of Illusionary Success. And then the eight, Walking Away and Abandoning. And the nine, The Harvest, The Harvest, The Fall Things. Okay, 10, The New Home, The Happy Home. In the Sunlight, we have The Page, and then the knight, queen, which also appears on the back. I believe the back of this. The queen appears on the back. Is that correct? Yes. So the queen appears on the back of the box. We're looking at the queen of cups for the back of the box. And finally, the king. So overall, very good very good deck, very pretty deck. Let's look at the card quality real quick. We are looking at, it's pretty tight. It only comes to here, and uh, I'm pretty pleased. Overall, I gotta say, overall, I gotta say, very, very good deck. This is a very good deck of cards, especially for the price, a mass market price, very nice. Um, overall, it is a win-win. Uh, you know, I'm a Chiro collector at this point, so I'm not gonna hide my, my bias. Look at the companion book real quick. That's a lot of text. That is a lot of text indeed. So we are, let's uh, go up a little bit so we can get the entire book in frame. Sorry for the shaky cam there. I apologize in advance, or no, I apologize after the fact. All right, Tell Decatif, a companion book. Let's take a look at it. By Lee uh, Burston, forward by Chiro Marchetti. We have the forward introduction on 30. The Trumps and the Royal Court into 85. We have the Pips on 85 to 151. The Power of 10 Spread and Sample Reading. All right, so here is your preface. Here is your forward. And as we're looking through the Trumps, uh, let's see. So let's see. Imagine suggestion. So basically sort of a little bit of a history or a little look-see into some of this, some of the details surrounding that. I'll pause and let you read. It looks overexposed from here, but you know, you tell me. Um, yeah, strength and whatnot. Again, a little bit of uh, history behind this. Let's see, let me turn this off so you get a little better. There we go, not as overexposed now. The problem is white text and the black background freak the camera out. All right. So now we start on the Trumps on page 37. And let's look at a couple of those. Let's look at the Popes. I'll pause. And then let's look at the end of that. And I'll pause. And another one. There we go. So feel free to pause the video and read up. Read up on what you see here. Let me make sure the focus is tight. It's pretty tight. Okay. We'll do one more read up on that. There we go. So uh, let's go to the minors and do a couple of these. The Royal Court. Okay, here we go. Looking at the Royal Court. Here we go with the pages. Uh, queens, Knights. And kings. All right, go to the, into the pip cards. So a brief how to learn. We have a little bit of lay of the land. Let's begin with the different elements. We have the power of five spread. We have a sample spread in back. Tick tips on combining number and suit. Very good. There you go. The suit swords. You combine all this stuff. We have a card keyword chart. There you go. And let's finally hit up a few of these. We'll do the uh, couple of swords here. We'll do the two of the swords. We have the ace of swords. And we'll do the three. And the four. Overall, Pretty good. Wish it were in color, but you can only have so much. All right, power of 10 spread. Uh, we have a power of 10 spread in the back. Oh, man, overall, for uh, for what I paid, 
you know, like 20 bucks or whatever. Uh, 170 page, 166 pages. Uh, beautiful, beautiful little box. And uh, gorgeous cards. I'm extremely happy. I'm extremely happy. But it is Chiro Marchetti. So making me unhappy with the Chiro deck is quite difficult. So uh, there's that. I am biased. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Please hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.